What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is all about sealed games and our collections. Hell, we all got them. I don't even consider myself a video game collector. I just buy games that I wanna play. But yet even I got some sealed games in my little collection of video games. Anyway, first game, we got Project Cross Zone 2. Now this is not one that I've had a lot of experience playing. I have the card only version of this game and I have played through a little bit of it. Um, I've really loved this series of games. Um, this is a turn-based, timing-based RPG, so it's kind of similar to Valkyrie Profile. Other games in the series, Super Robot Ties and OG Saga Endless Frontier, which is like the biggest hidden gem on the DS, and the original Project Cross Zone. Now, this initial version that came out, well, this is the only version that came out, didn't have any of the soundtracks or art books or any of the other stuff that the other games had, but I am grateful, very grateful, we had this over here in the United States, or we got this game out in the West. Now, this is a mashup of Sega, uh, Bandai, Capcom, you know, so this is like taking like a Marvel versus Capcom kind of thing and like blowing it up to epic proportions. There's so many characters in this game. You got Haken and Browning, Mega Man, not Haseyu, but the dude from the very first uh, series of Dot Hack games. There's so many characters in this game. And you know, the battle system is very, very repetitive. And those of you that I've talked to that have played this game, some of you, I've seen half of you guys say that, that the battle system is really fun until you play the game for a few hours, then it's like super repetitive. And then in that case, you know, the, the first game, the Super Robot Ties and OG Saga game, the story is definitely what helps push you through that game. But then you get a Project Cross soon, and yeah, it does get a little repetitive. The story is just not there like it was in the first DS game, but still really good. Uh, I found this game new for like five bucks, just, you know, never found the need to open it. You know, I got a disc or card only copy, so this one's probably going to remain sealed. But I do really dig this series of video games. And I mean, look at the graphics. And this is on the 3DS, guys. So um, you can emulate this game, play it that way, or you can just play it through a regular 3DS. It's not an expensive game, but I feel like in the future, when 3DS collecting is more of a thing, I feel like this game is going to be, I don't know if it's necessarily going to be like super valuable, but it's definitely going to be sought after, at least in my opinion. But yeah, uh, good game, you know, one that you can probably still find for a decent deal, but uh, definitely one that I recommend as well as the other games in the series, and that's Project Cross Zone 2 on the 3DS. The next game that I still have sealed, and this is a banger right here, but it is Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. What else do I got to say about this game? This game was a stretch goal, um, and this is the better of the two games in my opinion. Those are the original price stickers from the Standard Edition and Collector's Edition from the retail store in my area. Um, they sell these games for retail in my area. That's pretty cool. That way you don't have to order them online, because right now it's really hard to get video games online. Anything I've ordered is not coming. It's stuck in some warehouse. Can't get anything shipped to my house, at least not through USPS. Of course, on this one, since it's so good and I'm such a big fan, I had to have the Switch and PS4 uh, versions of this game, but God, they did such a good job with this. Is this one that you can get at Best Buy, or did they sell this at Best Buy? I'm not sure. Um, I got these games at a place called uh, Just Press Play. It's in uh, Pennsylvania. Um, there's a few stores in Pennsylvania, as a matter of fact, but this is my favorite boss that you're looking at right here. Um, there's Miriam just kind of whacking away at the boss, and... This is a great 2D action platformer. Absolutely love this game. If you like the original Castlevania series or games like Mega Man, you know, the original Mega Man's on the NES, you're going to absolutely love this game. Um, I think this is, you know, it's, it's kind of came up in price a little bit. I know that the Vita, the standard edition on the Vita when it first came out was going for like 100 bucks. I think the price has come down quite a bit on that one, but... Yeah, this is a good one. It's got an awesome sequel that came out just recently. It's uh, only digital as of right now, but I saw somewhere on YouTube or on the internet somewhere that they are doing a physical of uh, Curse of the Moon 2, which I'm going to get the collector's edition on that when it releases. But I would be interested to see if Curse of the Moon 2 actually comes out on the PlayStation Vita, because that's the PlayStation Vita collector's edition. Anyway, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Next sealed game, ADK Damashi. I guess that's how you pronounce that, ADK Damashi. And isn't ADK, isn't that a company that makes like SD cards and guitar picks and stuff? I think think it is. I think that's the same company. Anyway, what this is, okay, and there's the actual uh, the card that I got when I ordered this. And a, th a kind of pamphlet that reminds you of like a Nintendo Power. I got the little Twinkle Star Sprites card and like this weird Nintendo Power knockoff thing that Limited Run did. Um so, okay, what this game is, this is a collection of, I think, five or six uh, SNK games, pretty obscure games. Uh, the big title on this, at least for me, is uh, Twinkle Star Sprites. I think Ninja Commando is on here. Those are the only two kind of shooters that you're going to find on this game, but uh, or collection of games compilation. 
This was a really expensive PS2 game for the longest time. And what this is, is it's essentially just the PS2 port on the PlayStation 4. And like I said, there's like what, five or six SNK games. I forget what they all are off the top of my head, but this is one that I wanted ever since I had a Japanese PS2. I could never find a good, good copy for a decent deal. I think I saw a copy at a convention one time, but the guy wanted like 250 or 300 for it. And I was like, there's no way. But I mean, they go for, I think, well, like two, two and some change on like places like eBay. So this is a pricey game, at least on the PS2 anyway. But then I remember I saw I was on the PlayStation Marketplace on the PS4 and saw this and I about shit a brick, right? I'm like, oh my God, this is available digitally. So I downloaded it that day. And then I saw that Limited Run was doing a physical. So of course I pre-ordered the collector's edition and that's what, you, what I just showed you. Never opened it. I have it digitally on my PS4. And you know, that's going to be the case with a lot of the games you're going to see I own digitally. And that's why I have a lot of these still sealed. But you know, excellent collection of games. And you can find the standard edition of this for like right around $60 on eBay. And I recommend picking it up because it's Twinkle Star Sprites on the PS4. Anyway, ADK Dimashi on the PS4. Next sealed game, Eskatos. Now this may come as a shock to some of you considering this game is a shooter, but just hear me out. I downloaded the, the one of the downloadable versions from Doge and Gravity. And that's how I've been playing the game this whole time. I've been playing it with a Saturn pad. I absolutely love it. Now, there's no excuses. I should pop this thing open and throw it right on my Xbox 360. There is actually another Xbox 360 shooter I have that's right up there with this game that I actually still have sealed, but I'll reveal that one in a future video. Um, stellar gameplay. Um, if you like games like, uh, I want to say Altenex Second, I think you'll like Eskatos. Uh, the soundtrack is the real star of this game. This is one of the, this is my favorite OST on any video game ever made. And you, there is versions of um, Judgment Silver Sword and um, some other game that the same developer made. That rare shooter on the Wonder Swan Color, I think it was, that's actually on this disc. So you can play versions of Judgment Silver Sword on the Eskatos disc. But a shooter I highly recommend. And you can still find copies online fairly cheaply. Just don't go through eBay. Anyway, Eskatos on the Xbox 360. So the last sealed game, at least that we're going to talk about today, is the Visara Visera Collection. Um, this is three games. They're arcade games ported to Vita, Switch, uh, PS4. I actually have all three. You'll see in a second. It's one one of those games, right? So anyway, these aren't like the best shooters or anything like that. Um, pretty standard, basic mechanics. Uh, the controls are decent. There is a melee attack, and you'll be familiar with that if you've played games like Ratterji, and you know it's been ported to everything, including the Xbox 360. Um, Melee attack, you know, these are fun little shooters. They're nothing great. The music's kind of cool. It's kind of like an Asian soundtrack. But then the sound effects are like the star of this game, at least to me. There's like a hard thunking noise that you hear when you blast your enemies with bullets. Again, if you've played this, you know what I'm talking about. Um, isn't it anything special? But, you know, when games like this get ported to consoles, I, I try to just go balls in, right, and get all the, all the different versions they have. But anyway, this is the collector's edition on the Vita. It's still sealed. Um, I do have this, like I said, on the Switch and PS4. Uh, the PS4 version is not sealed, and the Switch version is actually sealed because I have it digitally on the Switch and the Vita. Um, so that's why those are sealed. But I don't on the PS4, so that's why that one's open. This game actually came with like these weird, like it looks like bathroom tiles that say Vasara or Strictly Limited Games or something like that on them, and they sent a card with this. It looks like it's handwritten on the card, but it's not. It's just printed on there. It says, like, sorry that we took so long to send this game out, but pretty decent game, and you still can get this game from Video Games New York for a pretty decent price, but the Vasara collections for the Switch, PS4, and the PlayStation Vita. So that's it for the sealed games, at, at least for this episode. If you noticed it was part one, I could go on for maybe part three, four, part five, I don't have that many sealed games, but if you do, I want to hear about it in the comment section. If you got any crazy old retro stuff that's really cool, like some old NES or Super Nintendo or, dare I say, Sega Genesis stuff, let me know about it in the comments. Um, you know, that stuff has a lot of value now, and you can get it graded. And, I mean, I don't necessarily agree with it, but it is kind of interesting. Anyways, guys, till next time. Peace out.